Hey guys, this is Alexander Pan and I'm going to show you guys how to mix vocals in FL Studio 21 using only stock plugins. Let's hop right in. The microphone I'm using is the Slate Digital VML M1, which is an amazing mic. I highly recommend it. So before we start, let's listen to some unmixed vocals I recorded for my song Perfume. I want to spend time with ya. I feel like you've been on my mind. I want to find down with ya. Every day, see you dressing up, yeah. Now let's listen to it with the plugins on. I want to spend time with ya. I feel like you've been on my mind. I want to find down with ya. Every day, see you dressing up, yeah. There's a huge difference, right? Let's dive into what I did. First, we're going to add subtractive EQ. Before we add any processing, we want to take out unwanted frequencies. I'm using the OG Parametric EQ2. Here, I'm cutting around 3 kHz and a bunch around 200 and 400 Hz. My voice has a lot of mid lows that I need to take out, so I'm cutting around 2 decibels. Generally, you want to cut between 2 kHz and 5 kHz. Make a narrow band and scan for high energy and harsh frequencies. Now let's add Pitcher. Pitcher is a great autotune plugin that comes in free with FL. First, find the scale of your song. Mine is in G sharp major. And then here you can change the tuning speed. High speed will make you sound like T-Pain, so pick somewhere near medium and you will get a more natural tune. Now let's grab Fruity Compressor. I'm going to put around minus 20 dB on the threshold, around 2 for the ratio, and around 6 to 8 milliseconds for the attack, and 100 milliseconds for the release. This is a good starting point for beginners using a compressor. Basically, you're raising the volume of the quiet sounds and decreasing the volume of the loud sounds, creating a nice and level sound. We're also not doing too much to squish the audio completely. Now we can move on to the meme of the FL Studio community, Soundgodizer. It's a compressor with one knob and four presets. That's it. Personally, I love preset A. It makes my vocals nice and bright and adds a bit of saturation. This combined with Fruity Compressor should give your vocal a nice glue and level out the volume. Since this is pretty much just a Maximus preset, you can pull it up and choose the Soundgodizer presets. Here you can mess with the parameters a bit more if you'd like. Alright, now that we have compression set, let's grab another parametric EQ2 and this time we are adding frequencies. I love to boost around 5kHz to 10kHz frequencies to make a nice and bright vocal. My voice tends to be boomy, but if you already have a thin voice, I suggest skipping this step. I then will boost very little in the mid-range using a wide band to not overdo this boost. I'm only going to add around 1 decibel, but you can boost a bit more if you'd like. This step is optional, but I like to add some Fruity Blood Overdrive. I turn down all the knobs and just leave it on for the most subtle distortion effect I can get. However, you can play around with this color knob to add desired effect. I love experimenting with this knob since it adds a nice distortion effect without overdoing it. Finally, we will add Fruity Stereo Enhancer. This will widen your vocals. I'm going to select left and pan 2 milliseconds to the right, and now you have a nice and wide vocal. This is perfect for the lead vocals, but if you want backing vocals, I suggest refraining from doing too much on this step. Perfect, now my vocal is ready. Let's listen to it and see what it sounds like with the instrumental. And there you have it, the perfect vocal mix using only FL Studio plugins. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. See you guys next time. Peace.